is Jessie Carell and I am a media educator. I am the director of an organization called Hands On Media Education and we are one of the Digital NWT project partners. What is Digital NWT you may ask? Well, this is a brand new three-year project that was recently funded by the Canadian government to teach important digital literacy skills to adults in all 33 NWT communities. Many partners are included in the project, including the Gwich'in Tribal Council, the Inupialawet Regional Corporation, the Klicho Government, the Satu Renewable Resources Board, Aurora College, the University of Alberta, the Smart Community Society, Hands on Media Education, and the Aurora Research Institute. Who am I, you may ask? As I mentioned, I am a media educator. So in my work, I teach adults, youth, and teachers, and also elders, how to think critically about the media we engage with every day, and then teach them how to make their own video projects. So for the last three years, I have worked with many NWT communities and organizations, either on the land, in town, or virtually, using Skype. Um, I do work with youth, adults, and elders, sometimes all together, and it's been super fun. I'm actually working with a youth from the Satu to design the Satu Youth Network, which is a website which will have all of the digital projects made over the last 10 years in the Satu and available for anyone to see. A kind of living and breathing archive of stories by Satu Youth. So for our upcoming workshop, August 27th, 28th and 29th in Inuvik, we are really excited to work with you. We wanted to give you an idea of what you can expect for the three days of training. So day one, you're going to be spending the whole day with me, learning how to make your own digital story with iPads. We will learn how to tell a story about ourselves using digital photographs, our own voice, music, and text. Who am I? What am I looking forward to in our digital literacy course? What issues the technology are the most pressing in my community? These are just some examples of subjects that you can talk about in your digital story. Don't worry, I'll be there the whole day to make sure you feel comfortable and have the guidance you need. Okay, so now for day two and three, this is where the real digital literacy training course number one will be taking place. So a few educators from the University of Alberta will be teaching the course and they will begin with teaching you how digital technologies work. We're going to be learning the difference between hardware and software. We're going to look at a computer that's actually been taken apart and get into the first stages of interacting with the computer and the internet. Next, they're going to be moving into valuing the use of digital technologies. So getting into some really exciting possibilities when we connect with others online and how to create using powerful digital tools in really safe and responsible ways. Finally, we will learn how to use digital technologies to protect ourselves and our communities. Safe passwords, online etiquette, and learning how to verify online information are just a few of the topics covered in this section of the course. At the end of day three, to celebrate everyone's hard work, we're going to have a barbecue in the greenhouse. We'll also be giving each participant a digital NWT certificate of completion. So once the course number one is over, we want you to know that you are going to be supported in any way you need so that you will feel comfortable and confident bringing your new digital literacy skills back to your own community for your own workshops. There will also be a Facebook page where you can connect with other educators and our team, plus a website and other contact information for getting any help you may need as you teach your own workshops to our new community of digital literacy adult educators. We really look forward to meeting and learning from you all August 27th, 28th, and 29th. See you soon.